let's consider the following problem. This is the first exercise in Kirchhoff's law, right? Uh, fortunately, just one loop, so we basically just need to do one of Kirchhoff's law, right? So we call Kirchhoff's law is basically two parts. The first part is basically uh, the current is conserved as you go around a loop, right? Including all the brakes and stuff. But in this case, we do not have to worry about brakes, so we just need to basically look at the potential drop, right? So the rule for potential drop is that if you go across First, let's draw a, a plot of, of all the currents. So we'll have current goes around like this. And this current will be just given the name I. Okay. Now, as it goes across the battery this way, there's a drop. Let's begin at a point. I'll pay, choose this as my, as my starting point A. Okay. As it'll go up across, this will have a drop of minus 12 volts. Right. If it is going on the opposite way, then it will have a plus sign. Okay. Now every time we cross the resistor is again minus IR, where in this case is minus 12 minus 6 I. Okay. Now we're going across this one again, this will get a minus 6. Alright. And then finally, we're going across this um, loop right here, which is minus 12 I. Okay. So all together, this is just going to be. 12 minus 12 minus 6 is minus 18. Minus 6 minus 12i is going to be minus 18i, which means that i is equal to minus 1, which means the current is actually flowing backwards, right? Which makes sense, right? This is a positive. So the currents are flowing in the positive direction in how circuits are constructed in this case, or at least how the nomenclature is. And so basically, because you align these batteries in this direction, it will cause the current to flow in this direction. Okay, hope that was helpful.